Hi, I'm Garvin. This telecast is on cholestogel. <clears throat> so what is cholestogel used for? It's used for high blood cholesterol levels or primary hypercholesteremia. Cholestogel can be used in combination with a statin medicine, for example, simvastatin or atorvastatin, when treatment with a statin has not lowered cholesterol levels enough. Cholestogel can also be used on its own to lower cholesterol levels when statin treatment is not appropriate or causes unacceptable side effects. So how does it work? Cholestogel tablets contain the active ingredient cholesterol, which is a type of medicine called a bile acid sequestrant. It is used to lower blood cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is not absorbed into the bloodstream. It works in the intestines <coughs> where it binds to bile acids. Bile is a fluid that is produced by the liver. It is released into the intestine through the bile duct as part of digestion. Bile contains substances called bile acids, <coughs> excuse me, which the liver makes from cholesterol <coughs> excuse me, in the blood. Bile acids aid the digestion of fats consumed in the diet. Following digestion, the bile acids are reabsorbed into the bloodstream and then returned to the liver. Cholesterol binds to the bile acids in the intestine and prevents them from being reabsorbed into the bloodstream. Instead, they pass through the intestine with the cholesterol and are excreted in the feces. This triggers the liver to produce more bile acids from the cholesterol in the blood, which lowers the level of cholesterol in the blood. High cholesterol levels increase the risk of heart disease by clogging and narrowing the arteries, or atherosclerosis. Cholestogel is used to lower cholesterol levels and thus reduce the risk of hardening of the arteries and the problems this can cause. Medicines are used to lower high cholesterol levels when a low cholesterol diet and exercise regime have not done this sufficiently. However, it is important to continue to follow your cholesterol lowering diet while taking this medicine. <coughs> Discuss this with your GP, your diet and exercise program. So cholestogel is to be used in caution in coronary heart disease or angina pectoris. Raise triglyceride levels levels above 3.4 millimoles per litre and also used in caution with people with liver failure and people who are susceptible to vitamin K or fat-soluble vitamin deficiencies <coughs> such as people with malabsorption, people with any swallowing disorders such as difficulty or pain when swallowing, people with severe disorders of the stomach and intestines that affect the passage of material through the gut. Inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, and people who have had major surgery on their stomach or intestines, and it's not to be used in blockage of the bile duct or bile reobstruction and blockage of the bowel. This medicine is not recommended for children and adolescents, and this medicine should not be used if you're allergic to one or any of its ingredients. So please inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have previously experienced such an allergy. If you feel you've experienced an allergic reaction, stop using this medicine and inform your doctor or pharmacy immediately. So for pregnancy and breastfeeding, <coughs> the safety of this medicine for use during pregnancy has not been established. The manufacturer states that it should be used with caution in pregnancy. So seek medical advice from your doctor first. And the safety of this medicine for use in breastfeeding women has not been established either. The manufacturer states it should be used with caution by breastfeeding mothers. Again, seek medical advice from your GP if you're breastfeeding. So how do you take this medicine? You take this medicine with or without food. It doesn't make any difference. And the side effects would be constipation and flatulence, headache, raised levels of fats called triglycerides in the blood, vomiting and nausea and diarrhea, indigestion, abdominal pain and abnormal stools. And some uncommon side effects would be muscle pain, increased liver enzymes. So how can this medicine affect other medicines? So it is important to tell your doctor or pharmacist what medicines you are already taking, including those bought without a prescription and herbal medicines before you start treatment with cholesterol. Similarly, check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medicines while taking this one to ensure that the combination is safe. 
cholestrogen may interfere with the absorption of other medicines from the gut if they are taken at the same time as this medicine. Mm -hmm. To avoid this, other medicines should be taken at least four hours before or four hours after taking cholesterol tablets. However, statins such as atorvastatin and simvastatin can be taken at the same time of day as cholesterol. Cholesterol can affect the absorption of cyclosporin, which is an immunosuppressant. If this medicine is used in combination with cyclosporin, then it should be taken at least four hours after the cyclosporin dose. It is also necessary to follow a set routine for when taking cholestrogel in combination with the cyclosporin. This means that you should keep to a set pattern for, these, for taking these two medicines. For example, regularly taking cyclosporin at 8 a.m., then cholestrogel tablets four hours later. So if you're taking a combined oral contraceptive pill, there may be a risk that this medicine could make it less effective at preventing pregnancy. This can be avoided by taking cholestrogel at least four hours after the oral contraceptive. Cholestrogel may change the anti-blood clotting effect of anticoagulant medicines such as warfarin, nicomulan and feninidone. If you are taking any of these, your blood clotting time or or in or may need to be monitored more frequently. So if you have any questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.